So I got a good one for you today, right? So obviously, warehouse looking good. It's a Porsche video, but not what you'd expect. Not obviously 918, that's just cool, right? But here's a Porsche uh, 911. This is one of our rental cars and the, it's like tire day, right? Like we've, we're putting new tires on the Z06, putting a set of tires on the Porsche or so we thought. The wheel lock is missing. And we're like, well, what the hell do you do when the wheel, wheel lock's missing? And why is the wheel lock missing? Upon further research, you'll see something. Now, a lot of you don't know that tires obviously have dates on them. And there's one tire on this car that doesn't belong. And not that it doesn't belong because it's not a matching Pirelli, but it doesn't belong because the tire's three years older than the car. So this front tire here was swapped. Now, I don't know who did it. I don't know what customer did it, but at some point in time, a customer must have gotten a flat tire and they decided, let me go get a used Pirelli that matches and stuff it on and it'll be cheaper. Now I'm saying customer because I'm assuming it's a customer. Now I do things to protect myself from this, which is I take photos around the car every time it goes out. I take before photos and after photos. The problem is we generally are looking for the rim and we'll usually see if a tire has been swapped because they, they don't find the same tire to try to find photos that are that detailed and go back through all these rentals to find out who swapped the tire. You'll see, let me see if I can find it here. Here's the date on the tire. It's the 42nd week of 2013 that this tire was produced. The car's at 2015. So do the math. Obviously that, that's not, all the other tires on the car are much newer and in line with the car. So we have one tire that doesn't belong. And why am I not going through to try to nail the guy who did this? Well, because it's frankly not worth our time. The tread was reasonably consistent with the other tires. I don't know when it happened. We're putting new tires on it anyway right now. So it sucks. The only downside is that I don't know where the wheel lock is, so I can't get the damn tires off. So that's the bigger problem. Now, why does this not bother me? Well, A, because it's just weird who does that. Just tell us you got a flat tire and you put another one on. We'd be like, oh, cool. Uh, the other thing is that I've had stuff like this in the past. And this is why I'm saying I don't know if it's a company or a customer because uh, this could be a whole new wheel. It could be a whole wheel and tire swap for all I know from a different car because maybe somebody else damaged it or they put a damaged wheel on then we ended up fixing our wheel. We had a car that went out to another rental company. Another rental company said, hey, I need the same car they had. Uh, I think it was an Aston Martin or an S-Class. I still have the headlight. Hey, I need this car for a customer. Oh, mine's already out. No problem. We did a wholesale deal to them. They rented it out. Came back and it had a different headlight on it. And we're like, the hell? Oh, the, sorry, the headlight doesn't work. The headlight failed on me. I, I don't want to pay for the rental. I'm like, what do you mean the headlight failed? Like, it's, it's a headlight. And not only that, it's not even the same headlight that was on the car. What are you talking about? Definitely the same headlight. The other company rented my car to swap the headlight or a customer did, I don't know. I can't say it was the company or the customer. Either way, somebody swapped my headlight. And that's why when I take the before pictures and the after photos, you see in the before photo, you have this nice clear headlight. Came back, there was like a yellow headlight on it. I'm like, it's not even in the same ballpark. Like you, you could have at least like tried to, to mask the fact that you swapped the headlight. Totally, they, they swore it to the end of time that it wasn't them. I billed them for the headlight, they never contested it. So clearly somebody was doing some funny business. Um, and the headlight was, I forget if it was, again, it was either like an S-Class Mercedes or an Aston. It was like a twelve dollars or $1,500 headlight. I ended up putting a new one on my car. But that's a thing, like people, and you, you see like these memes on the internet, like, oh yeah, when you're, you need new tires for your car, you just go to Avis, you rent the car, you swap the tires out and ha ha, you put one past them. Don't do that. It's a scumbag move and it's illegal. Um, but this here you're talking about, I can usually catch stuff like that. And there's a reason that parts, and, and I don't have any cars that are sort of a part right now, but when there are like the, these cars, like the Porsche, they don't even want you working on them. They put these big ass screws. Uh, McLaren does that with the 675 LT too. They'll put screws 
that you can't, they won't even sell you the tool to use so you can't get into the car because they don't want you touching it. But let's just use my NSX for example. Let's just say all the screws are tightened down and then they usually like mark them with paint or something like that because it's almost impossible to make everything line up. But this way you know when somebody's tampered with the car. You know if somebody's worked on the car and they usually do this at the factory so that they can void your warranty because you're not going to go realign 75 screws if you took your car apart to do something. And that's just one way they try to prevent stuff like that. Ultimately, it's really difficult. If you're really good and hell-bent on doing it, congratulations. It's generally not worth the effort. But when you get into exotic cars, most of my cars are under warranty. This one, the warranty just ended like a month ago. So, I mean, this is, it's getting sold in October anyway. So if you want a Porsche, hit me up. Uh, it'll have four new tires on it. Um, but this is a 2015, the last of the naturally aspirated Porsches. I love it. I think it's a great car and it's a Porsche. So there's not like, I don't care how many people have driven it. Um, it's just a nice clean car. And obviously it's dirty right now because it's going out and we got to clean it. But if you look at it, it's never been in an accident under my watch. Um, the seats, the interior. And again, this is before we clean it. Everything is very nice. Uh, car currently has 23,555 miles on it, which is probably the highest mileage car I have right now in the rental fleet. But it's a nice car, and that's what we do. We cycle a lot of cars. This Z06 also getting sold. Now, this Z06 here has an issue that uh, I'm A, swapping the tires, but I'm also swapping rims because I don't know what's up here. This is now, this tire is shot because the rim kept going flat and you could see the welds in there that the rim keeps cracking. And I'm like, why does the rim keep cracking? And then it happens to the other one too. Now this one's not losing any air yet, but if you look, there's a crack here, a crack here, and a crack here. There's three cracks on the rear rim. I don't know, and I don't want to say it, but I think there's some sort of like class action suit against Chevy for this problem. But these are factory wheels. And this is why I don't swap wheels because I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to put like a subpar wheel in the car and then somebody's like, oh, yeah, I was in danger because you put uh, aftermarket wheels in the car. That's why we leave everything factory. And this way the manufacturer is the one that's responsible for making sure that the car and the materials used in the car are sufficient to, to handle the loads and the, and the performance of the cars. Now there's no cracks on the front of these, but uh, they're, they're all getting swapped anyway. I just got a completely different set of rims to go on here because getting another set of rims that's going to crack doesn't do you any good. So I just got another set of factory wheels. Hopefully they don't have the same problem. So those come back tomorrow. This car goes out, everything goes out. Um, I love it. Thank you for I guess, second video in my new warehouse, uh, which is cool. Look, new warehouse, cool cars, yay. And that's a uh, painting going on the walls. Here's uh, the office is gonna be set up over there. You can see stuff starting to take form here. Uh, we're waiting to build out the, uh, the lounge area over here. The paintings like that Ferrari painting over there with the Statue of Liberty with boobs and, and a torch. It's gonna go on the wall probably over there. We got two other paintings going over there, some TVs. It's gonna be good. So thanks for watching, stay tuned. We'll catch you next time. Uh, I wasn't expecting a tire to be significantly older than the car, but such is life. Uh, nothing really surprises me anymore and I wasn't expecting it, but that doesn't mean I was surprised by it. Thanks for watching, see you tomorrow. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.